Hello and welcome to the Play Android Game Reviews. My name is Daniel. Today I'll be showing you the puzzle game, the word puzzle, Wazzle by Lipnik. And well, the name is a combination of the words puzzle and word. So it's a game about finding out what kind of pictures make up what kind of words. And this is how the game greets you, I'm sorry. And this is the starting screen. You have your six brackets here with five questions each. So it's 30 questions in total. And you can choose the first one down here. You see the stars at the right and you see it's unlocked. All the others are locked. We have to unlock them first. And you see coins at the bottom and a Facebook button on the right. So you can connect with Facebook, invite your friends, uh, share the game with them. And we have this little guy in the back and it's basically the mascot of the game. And he's kind of, I think he doesn't wear a shirt, he's kind of hairy, can see his armpit hair. And well, he, he looks kind of stupidly funny actually. And yeah, well, he is always in the background showing you stuff and let's just go ahead and start up the game let's click the one down here and i'm sorry if it takes a while this is the way we record things sometimes games just slow down a bit but usually they work on a normal device without recording perfectly and this one does too and let's just get here we have up top the first question and we already see a preview of the picture we have to combine of the things we have to combine and let's just start it up and it takes a while again and here we are with the game and it greets us with a quick tutorial and it says Hi, let's look at the first image. We should guess the most irrelevant meaning from the image. There are two items in this image, a tone and an ace. Putting them together gives us the answer, acetone. So you see what happened here. We combine both meanings, both names into one new word here. And let's just put it in, acetone. And okay, so the game sadly switched into widescreen mode. I don't even know why. Acetone, but you earned 20 coin. And we have a car with some quite well well known icons in the middle. And while Okay, the game continues with uh, the tutorial and it says here, okay, the first image was too easy. Just putting two known words together gave us the answer. This one is a bit more tricky. There is a car with Windows, Android and Mac logo in it or on it. As you know, these three are operating systems, which is commonly abbreviated to OS. Now, putting OS and car together gives us the answer, Oscar. Yeah, so you see what they did there uh, with combining those things here in a different way. So we have to type in again. And while we're at it, let's just talk about the graphics a bit. I mean, it's fairly simple and it's this comic style here. We have these bright images in the screen and we have the guy in the back and it looks all well rather nice i'd say a good change from all the other dull word puzzles out there there are a lot and this one is quite the change from them and i really like it because it is just something different to look at and it isn't well I think there could be a bit more contrast between the colors at all. It's all really like muted colors here, but still graphics wise, good choice here. And like I said before, we had no technical pro problems with this game and the slowdowns here are just because we are recording right now. Okay. And let's just go ahead and type in this word real quick. Oh. S C A and R. <laughs> okay. 
and we automatically go to the next to the next puzzle okay good now you understand how this game works you can start guessing the image yourself just a hint if you select the letter by mistake you can remove it by tapping on it uh, on it in the answer spot so this is the first time we have to guess ourselves and well let's just click this away and okay so you see here there's a five and a woman that says hi and five is kind of well has hands and a face and the high yeah what could this be and well I already know it because I already tested the game but let's just go through the whole process again and because it's high and five what could this mean let's just juggle around the words a bit and it probably is a well another version to write high five so Let's just try this out with H and G, uh, G of course. Five. And where's D? There you go. Okay. So you saw it, it changes a bit uh, how you have to, well, think uh, for the words to get, well, to get the words here and there's another one here and this is fairly simple i guess but let's just talk about sounds and controls a bit i mean you've heard it already you have these indicator sounds when pressing a button and you have this weird laugh when you have have the right answer and why there's this this laugh here i really don't know but what i really miss is some kind of music to make it more catchy a bit more entertaining and but mm, let's just say it's all right with the with the indicator sounds so far but it could be more in terms of sounds in terms of controls it's a really different story here because well the game doesn't need to doesn't need uh, all those precision controls like for uh, skill based games and it's much more like an app so you just have to touch all those buttons and it works really well for this one here and it's responsive and there's nothing bad to say about it and really with solid controls and really fitting the game style okay and well in terms of game style let's go to originality as well because you might think oh i know these these games i know these word puzzles these with these images and these are actually a very old idea and there's nothing this game invented or reinvented because there are already a lot of apps doing the same thing here. So in terms of originality, the idea isn't a new thing, but maybe only the concept uh, of its design is the thing that makes it stand out. And the thing is, if you play these games, you're quite good at them. And because they're all, there's only a set number of answers, after a while, if you're, well, completed the whole game, there's nothing much to do besides play it again, but you already know the answers, so it's, it isn't really quite a challenge uh, the second time around. And because it misses a lot of things like a uh, high score, for example, you can just compete with other people. And there is the Facebook button I mentioned before, but it's just for sharing the game and not for comparing yourself to, the, to other people. So uh, replayability is a bit low if you, well, if you pass through the first time. And I hope there will be updates with more questions and more challenges because this is what the game does and this is what the game does good, actually. So yeah. Let's just solve this last one here. And it's a burning dog. And what could this be? It's, well, I have no idea. So let's just go here because you see this, this uh, ring down there and it gives you the help menu. And we can eliminate letters for 10 coins or solve the whole puzzle for 150. Let's just solve it <laughs> and we get the hot dog. So, here it is, and we have the next one right here. But let's come to an end here with this review video. 
Um, this is the game Vassal so far. It's actually quite entertaining. I liked it. And I hope you liked this video. If you want to read the in-depth review, head right over to playandroid.com. You'll find the link in the video description as always. And I hope you'll tune in next time. Until then, I say goodbye. Thank you.